Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for MgBr2 plus KOH. This is magnesium bromide plus potassium hydroxide. The first thing we do when we do net ionic equations is we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. It looks like I have two bromine atoms here and just one here. So I'm going to put a 2 as my coefficient. That balances the bromines. Now I have two potassiums. So let's put a 2 here. Those are balanced. Now I have two hydroxides. But over here, I have two hydroxides, and then I have a magnesium on each side. That's the balanced molecular equation. Now we write the state for each substance. That looks like this. So compounds with the bromide ion here, they're very soluble. In potassium hydroxide, this is a strong base, so it's going to be soluble. But in general, hydroxides are insoluble, and magnesium hydroxide is considered insoluble. A very little bit of it will dissolve. Because it's insoluble, we say it's a solid, and it's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube. And we don't split solids apart when we write net ionic equations. Now that we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. And that'll give us the complete ionic equation. And that looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So in the reactants, I can see I have two bromide ions right here and in the products. So these are spectator ions. We're going to cross those out. And then I have two potassium ions. And again, in the products, spectator ions, we cross these out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for magnesium bromide plus potassium hydroxide. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for MgBr2 plus KOH. You know, charges conserved, we have 2 plus, then 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. So these add up to 0, net charge of 0 in the reactants. In the products, this is a neutral compound, net charge of 0. So charges conserved, and if you count the atoms up, they'll be balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for magnesium bromide plus potassium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.